found a guy on Vimeo made a a porosity tester for the power glider. I'll put a link if YouTube will let me. If not, just search porosity on Vimeo and you'll find it. So I've done all the calcs, full lines. If you watch this video, you'll understand it all. And then the uh, cup. In a second, because this is all done with magnets and it's really tight. <coughs> so I'm just using a clear plastic bag for testing. Um, I think the guy quotes uh, a tolerance of about 5%, plus or minus 5%. Um, so I tried with a clear bag. And you only got about 4 minutes 36 seconds and it should last a lot longer than that. So obviously the sealing, was, sealing of the, uh, the bag was an issue. So I was scratching my head a few times and what I came up with, I had some 4 or 5 mil fuel tubing. So I've split it all the way down the length and fed it onto this inner rim. And when it goes back on the other wing, identical wing, it does create a seal. So I went from 4 minutes 36 seconds, which wasn't brilliant really, with a, a clear bag, to 24 minutes 42 seconds. Well, I'm out, so I think that'll, it's more than enough, it'll be neg negligible leaking. Because when you put the clear bag on and you create the vacuum, the plastic does create a bit of a dome in that hole and this lip on the outside is supposed to seal it but you put it to your ear and you can hear it leaking past the seal because it's not if you create a vacuum with your mouth a lot much bigger vacuum it seals a lot better but under this the light pressure is it 10 millibars I can't remember what it is um, it's not sealing properly you can hear the air leaking past it so just adding this bit of uh, fuel tubing around this inner rim when it's placed on it creates a much better seal, so I can do some um, porosity testing on the glider and it will give me a good benchmark figure to go by. So, looking at different manufacturers, they go between 18 and 20 seconds minimum um, for the air to pass through. Anything lower than 18 to 20 seconds and it's deemed un unfit to fly. So either if I give myself a uh, 10% tolerance either way, so you could say to say anything over 22 seconds would be safe to fly. But obviously it's down to uh, how well you trust the data. I quite like it, so there you go. Form an orderly queue, I'll catch you later.